Welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa, also known as Green Eye Phoenix Goddess here on YouTube. I am a Pisces, but I love all signs. I love everybody. I deal with all signs. But I think you'll find, guys, as a Pisces, I try to do lots of different things here on my channel. So please stay tuned to all of the amazing things coming. I do member perk memberships. Um, I have my website. I do personal readings. I do all kinds of amazing stuff. I also have subscription boxes that you can sign up for. So I have lots of fun different things that I do on my channel. So I really hope that you'll look around and that you'll join the family and that you'll subscribe. So don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And to all my returning subscribers, you guys know how much I love and appreciate you so much. Guys, as you know, these readings are always very general. So anything that is pertaining to your particular energy, please, anything that is pertaining to my channel will always be linked down below. How to book personal readings with me, how to donate to my channel, how to follow me on Instagram and Facebook, any type of sales or deals or anything. Everything will always be linked down below in regards to my channel. So with all that being said, guys, let's get into the video. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to your pickup pile for Tuesday, February 2nd, 2021. All right. So, oh, I forgot to set this up here for you guys. So you guys know, because I've been trying to do this so that you guys see what cards I'm using. So let me move the pickup piles down. All right. So we have, I believe I did it in this order. I think I did it like this. Okay, so the pick up outs for today, they're going to include obviously a tarot message. I have a money message. We have a work your light message, self-care message, and then kind of like another life self-care type of thing. But the, this is classified, what did I, I wanna say this was called like the self-care oracle or something like that. I forget what this one was called, but it's not just really about self-care. Like, it has so many other freaking important messages. Like, it's crazy. Um, and I love it. I love, love, love the deck. So, update. I obviously am stuck in a snowstorm. So, I was not able to go get my... I had some other cool freaking decks coming. Well, they're there. They're at the post office. They are waiting for me. But I haven't been able to get out because we have, like, a legit crazy snowstorm here in New York. And so, I probably won't be able to get them till tomorrow. Like, tomorrow mid-afternoon is when I figured we'd probably be able to head out finally into the world so a couple things I have to do so I figured I'll go get them Wednesday which is tomorrow obviously but they're really cool decks like one is like one of the decks is like they're called cue cards one of my other good friends from um YouTube recommended them to me like I saw her use it and I said oh I love those cards like what are they she said they were called like cue cards so I'll explain to you guys when I get them, but they're so cool. I was so intrigued by them. They're so freaking cool. And then the other deck is more of like a, kind of like more of like an astrology uh, astrology deck, but like a really cool one. Like just crazy. You guys already know me. You guys already know me. But so those are coming. Then I just got notification that my sex deck from the Fire Witch Tarot, that finally shipped out. So that should be here. The, the last time that I got notification that it shipped, it literally came out of nowhere. So... I'm hoping it surprises me again because then I'm doing some really fun readings in regards to that. So I'm really excited. So stay tuned, guys, because you know me. I'm always trying to get new decks and do fun different pick a piles and all that stuff and all kinds of different fun readings. So I'm super excited. So at any rate, wanted to give you those updates. So yeah, so let's see. So for pile number one, I have Moonstone. Now Moonstone, I recently, not recently discovered because I've heard of Moonstone before, but I never had one and I realized like I was like oh my god I have to run out the other day um so before like all the snow started I ran out to get moonstone because it's good for like manifesting and especially you know to um to use them during your greetings like keep them out plus you know any type of just energy like I just love the energy from it and it's especially good to have obviously during like the moon cycles because you know it's stronger that you can have your manifestation so um moonstone is gonna be pile number one Pile number two is my amethyst mixed with the clear quartz. And you guys know amethyst is just for like protection, connecting more, being able to connect to like your abilities and stuff like that. And then pile number three is going to be rose quartz because I know, you know, we need a little bit of rose quartz, you know, love, love, getting over love or uh, just, you know, healing from love, just stuff like that. So I figured a rose quartz for today as well, because I kind of was feeling like that the past couple days. So I said, you know what? Let me throw rose quartz in there. All right. 
So part one, part two, part three. And you know what, guys? I actually will do the singing bowl just so we can kind of get ourselves, you know, nice and kind of like centered and just kind of like chillax. So I want you guys to really think of something like a beautiful memory that you may have or just picture yourself maybe sitting on like a bridge or maybe somewhere in like a field on like a beautiful, like very silky blanket. And then just like looking ahead, you're just, you see nothing but grass, but like, a, like beyond the grass, you see this beautiful, like bright sun. And then you just see like a beautiful, beautiful light. I just want you guys to just think of that. Just sit, think of something wholesome, just relax, take a deep breath in and out and try to focus on which pile you feel drawn to. So I pray that everybody gets to be led to the pile of the messages that they are required to hear today's spirit. So please guide them with their hearts, their minds, their souls, everything to choose the right number for the messages that they feel that they need. Not bad. I definitely felt that a lot of you are open to receive the messages, but I feel like some of you are blocked a little bit and it's really not a blockage of like trying to be defensive or anything, but just the blockage of, you know, like that hopelessness, you know, it's like, like losing hope or just feeling, you know, just feeling like, oh God, you know, like I'm just like done with this or whatever. You know, I've been there. I literally have been there. Um, it's not the greatest feeling in the world to feel hopeless or you know, to just feel defeated and wanting to give up and like not have that motivation there. Those are literally like almost the worst things for people to feel They're They're horrible because they just really start to like break you down little by little mentally. And before you know it, you end up in some sort of spiral that you didn't even realize that you could have controlled and like handled. And it just becomes, you know, completely just it just completely goes awry, guys. Trust me. I trust me when I tell you that when I feel your guys' energy, I don't just feel your guys' energy. Like, I can feel it not only because I can feel you guys, but also because there's, like, literally probably nothing that I haven't been through. Like, I've literally experienced a lot of different things, you know, in different ways in life. And so I can pick up on that energy. And when I feel it, it takes me back as well. Do you know what I mean? So for those of you that are feeling like that, you know, I my heart really does go out to you. I'm sending you lots of love and light. I'm sending you all of my motivation that I feel, all of just the, you know, the vibrant energy. I'm trying to send it all to you because to try to get out of that cloud, you know, it is tough, but it is possible, you know? So I'm, I'm praying that for you guys today for sure. So let's jump right into it. So if you chose pile number one, you chose Moonstone, let's get into your messages. Gosh, I feel like I have to move everything around sometimes. I need a bigger desk. That's what it is. I need a bigger desk. All right, so you guys... Your tarot message of the day is the Queen of Swords. Let's look at the rest of everything because then I want to see if it combines with one thing. So let's see. So you guys got the Queen of Swords. Your self-care message is to look at the stars. But remember how last time I did that, guys, and there was an extra message? I'm going to read you guys that message. All right, so your money message is money munchers. They're eating all your bread you're already doing it stop overthinking keep facing your true north that is your work your light card for the day and then let go and move on don't allow the past prevent you from moving forward okay so that's good look how beautiful that freaking moon is do you guys see that look how freaking beautiful that is and do you see the skull there i love that it reminds me of the goonies that is so a scene from the goonies have you guys ever seen the goonies oh my gosh that is still a sign from the Goonies. At any rate, so for this pile, so this is what we got going on here. You're a very self-sufficient person, right? Like you're like a very, very self-sufficient person. You are a person that people can rely on. You are just, I'm picking up for a lot of you. This is more for like, you guys are very like earthy. There's a lot of earth energy here that I'm picking up on because of the fact that in this pile, those of you who chose this pile, you guys are very, very reliable. You guys are very, you could, oh, it could be water sign too. I'm picking up on some water as well. Um, a lot of water and earth here because you guys are very, very reliable. You know, people can turn to you. Like if somebody said to you, I need to borrow a hundred bucks and that's all you got. 
you would literally would give it to them because if you felt that they needed it more, you just feel that it's the right thing to do energy wise, right? And the right thing to do to pay it forward. So you guys are very much like that in this pile, which is an amazing thing, okay? But there's something also too that you guys are holding on to that you guys can't seem to like get past. And I'm picking up that it's um very much relationship wise. Like there's a lot of you in this pile that have been in relationships, right? That just have never worked out and you guys have always wondered why. And spirit is telling you why. They weren't your person, you know? They weren't your person. But the funny thing is, is that even though you guys are sitting there and you're saying like, damn it, I wasted all this time. I have kids with this person possibly, or, you know, I just wasted all this time with this particular person. How do, how do you leave somebody that you're so comfortable with, right? Like how do you, it's very hard to change something that you're so comfortable with and that you're so used to, right? So a lot of you in this pile, it's hard for you to let go of that fear to think that you're not bad at relationships. It's not that you're bad at relationships. It's just that people end up together that are not supposed to be together because they're supposed to learn lessons. They're supposed to learn how to be in a relationship and how to love somebody and how to have somebody love them so that they take it to the one that they're supposed to be with and everything. That's why people always wonder. You guys ever wonder how people always say, how come that person never loved me? How they love that person? It's because it wasn't anything personal. It's just because they weren't your person. They weren't meant for you. They were meant to teach you lessons so that you take that to your true love. You understand what I'm saying? And then once you meet your true love, it'll make sense because once you meet that person that just accepts accepts totally everything you'll it'll it'll make sense it'll make sense guys but there are a lot of you in this pile that you know you're really scared to let go of something from your past to move on to something for the future and it's really sad because that's kind of blocking and bringing you a little bit of like negative energy in regards to like people trying to take advantage you know like it's bringing you people around that shouldn't really be like around you like and nothing's being blocked because you guys are blocking yourselves, okay? Now, the look at the stars one, I love this one because look, the stars reflect my magic. As above, so below. This ancient aphorism represents how our human experience reflects the movements of the stars in the universe. Just as our ancestors did, we can look to the heavens for insight into our shared experience as people on this planet. Astrology is a powerful tool for recognizing patterns impacting the collective consciousness which we can often see play out among our friends, family, lovers, community, and our own life. Deepen your understanding of yourself and the astrological patterns through self-study or by working with a professional astrologer. As you tune into the different astrological seasons, you can gain insight into what energies are working in your favor. This practice will allow you to flow with the energies instead of feeling like you are swimming in opposition to the currents of life. Then it says, how can you best work with the current astrological season? If you're unsure what it is, take a moment to look it up and read what it's all about. This popped up one other time. I think it was like maybe two or three weeks ago, if I can't, if I recall. Um, it was either in a pick a pile or I might have done it for like one of the signs or something like that. But I remember that I, this is really important for you guys because for you guys in this pile, you have a problem with believing that there is destiny, believing that something is meant to be, right? And a lot of you always wonder sometimes, why am I like this? Or why am I acting like this? Or why does this happen? Or this or that? Or why can I, you know, why can I mesh well with this person? Or why didn't work out with this person? Or why am I stuck with this person? Or why do I feel stuck? Like you guys always have all these questions, right? A lot of you will get your answers if you look into your birth chart. That is what they are telling me legit. You need to look into your birth chart because it's almost like you need to know what type of people to attract to you or what type of people to attract away from you. Doing this will give you insight and you, it'll start to change your mind into believing into the destiny. And that's when you're going to start to finally realize that you do need to go after the person that you're really wanting to be with and leave the past behind. All right. So that's what I'm getting for you guys. But other than that, you know, you guys are very, very self-sufficient. You guys are very reliable people. You have a lot of stuff going for you. But it's just in regards to this one particular thing that you can't let go. It's, it's almost like it's halting your happiness, you know. And because of that, you're getting people, you know, wanting to take advantage of you, wanting to get money. Like, you know, like it's, it's shifting the energy around you. So you guys need to be really super mindful of that. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. Pile number one. I hope that resonates and makes sense. So pile number two. Let's take a peek at everything before I show you guys everything. You guys got the amethyst with the clear quartz. Okay. Oh, my God. I was like, why is that that way? Oh, yeah. This pile, you guys are definitely going through a transformation for sure. 
oh this pile right here you guys are definitely going through a transformation so but it's it's so funny because like this transformation that's happening you guys are healing you guys are literally putting in the work like the effort like you guys are legit determined to like awaken yourselves to really come to terms with what it is that you need to do in life like you're looking for your purpose you're trying to find your purpose you're trying to work towards your purpose like you guys are you guys are the busy workers here this pile for sure you guys are definitely busy working 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 and i love it you guys have the ten of pentacles which you guys know that's literally ultimate wish fulfillment right there well you know it's 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 leave, it's being able to like leave a legacy being able to like have enough to survive to like leave to your kids and for your kids to have to for their like it's literally leaving a legacy behind you know what i mean but it also for me is ultimate fulfillment it's like the it's almost like the like the like the ten of cups type of thing you know what i mean like you just have that final contentment like total love and support money like everything that you desire is basically going to be manifested they're even telling you to look awaken the witch awaken your dormant potential and unlock your inner witch take that as it resonates you don't have to take it as like the witch word or whatever just they just mean to like awaken your inner goddess like awaken your inner higher self do you know what i mean like that's what they mean so don't get scared guys i always have to say that because you know a lot of people are like she's doing this so she's doing this. and i'm like i'm i don't do that i don't do that i do literally nothing but light work like literally so they're also telling you see look that you're transforming transformation things are changing at a cellular level deep healing you guys are really doing a lot of work all right you got the ten of pentacles and then entering the cycle of pure abundance literally goes with the ten of pentacles i'm telling you and they're telling you to awaken, to keep going spiritual, journal, that's your self-care. Make sure you keep journaling. They are, they're literally saying to, it's a very strong message to keep writing down the goals, not to keep striving for more, that you want to constantly strive for more and not to get comfortable. Because when you get comfortable, that's when, you know, you stop, you stop manifesting. That's when you stop, you know, remembering how to be spiritual, remembering how to do your meditation, stuff like that. Like, trust me, it's happened to me. You don't want to stay stagnant. You want to make sure you keep moving, you keep pushing, you keep growing. That's when you will continue to learn and continue to awaken, okay? So there's a very strong message in regards to that. But you guys have really good energy in this pile. Like, all I just feel is just very, very anxious and just wanting things to come to fruition. So another good message, too, is just to kind of chillax, you know, slow it down, put it out there, let it be manifested. There's nothing for you to worry about. They got your back. It's a really good energy, and I love it. I'm here for it. I love it. This is amazing, guys. Keep working hard at this. I love this. I absolutely love that energy. That's amazing. All right. And last but not least, Rose Quartz. All right. So your term message of the day is the Two of Wands, which is just, you know, something you're waiting on something. There's a choice that needs to be made. You could be traveling somewhere as well, or somebody could be traveling. I'm picking up to come see you or wanting to see you. Um, hmm yeah see there's some you're like wait, okay so this power right here i'm picking up that you guys are trying to there's two things going on here there's kind of something going on here with work and then there's something going on here as far as love so there's some of you who are feeling like a little bit shy right because maybe you've been hurt in the past and just you know you kind of just started to kind of like lose yourself a little bit like with your confidence and so you became a little bit inward and just like more of an introvert and just really shy, right? There's something that's, you know, you're, you're like waiting for something. You're trying to like wait for something or, so, or some of you need to make a choice about something. You know, it could be whether or not you're choosing that you want to move um, to another state or just like another country. You know, like there's, there's some of you who are thinking about something in regards to that. But then there's others of you who have been waiting for something. It's almost like I feel like you're trying to be patient with a lover or like a friend or something like that. Like a lot of you are trying to be very patient here. There's some of you too who are dealing with something with work, like whether or not you're choosing to combine with somebody or collab with somebody or something, like you're just thinking about past things as well, you know, in regards to trying to prepare for the future because you have like bad investments here so that I feel like there's like somebody that not like betrayed you, but like there's somebody that didn't pan out like you thought that they were going to pan out and so you just felt like you had to take a loss for it, you know what I mean? So it's like, it, it's it's giving you a hard time trusting people and making new friends and stuff like that because there's literally saying that here, like make new friends, get out there, make new friends, don't hide in the shadows, right? There's also a strong message here about reading. So I don't know if some of you have been thinking about reading up on something or there's something that you have to read and you haven't been wanting to put it much attention you know, maybe it's like a document for some of you. I'm picking up. It could be like a document that you need to sign and you're just like, oh, 
like, I don't want to deal with it or like paperwork that needs to be submitted by like a deadline, but you're just still like, uh, I don't want to do it. You know, so it's like one of those things. Um, and then there's also, if you're thinking about something and you're very heavily thinking about something or someone, there's a strong message here that says, no, it says, wait, postpone, pause and say no. So that right there too is very strong indication that a lot of you could be thinking about like ending something today. Maybe you're like fed up with something or somebody or whatever. There's a strong message here to just no decision making basically kind of like today. Like just there's a strong message of saying like no, just to like wait, you know, like just give it the day. You can do it if you want, free will. But I'm just saying like they're saying there's a strong message of like no, just wait on it, sit on it and don't do anything about it. Okay. Um, but other than that, you know, just be mindful today, guys. Like if there's something that you're, like I said, looking to look into educate yourself, reading something like that, like something that you've been meaning on looking up or whatever, today's the day to do it and, um, just wait for the results that you're waiting for. And the strong message again is not to make the choice today. Kind of give it time, start opening up a little bit more. Don't let the fact that maybe you invested in people and that you didn't get your return back or whatever, you know, deter you from trying to meet new people and just meet your different tribe or whatever. Like, don't let that deter you. All right. Alrighty, guys. That was your pick a pile for Tuesday, February 2nd of 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.